with champs being right around the corner, a lot of people are either quitting after failing to qualify, traveling to AGN and catching COVID for an Avi, or playing Rogue Company in Minecraft all day. It seems like every year it takes the same turn. We got some stupid ass games to be played. I also see a lot of people tweeting out for scrims and trying to play for 16 hours a day. Like, if you didn't qualify, what's the point of scrimming? Just focus on yourself until next game. I understand trying to stay sharp and playing as much as possible, but I don't think scrims are really the way to do it, man. You can play tens, you can play tournaments, you can do anything, but bro, like, scrimming. So here's three things that you need to work on before Cold War. They're pretty obvious, and if you don't know by now, you're in the sauce. gonna be your health, networking, and previous game titles. Now, obviously your health is important, but when it comes to Call of Duty, a lot of people really neglect their health, and they think it's cool to put theirself through some kind of like starvation and only drink G Fuel and Adderall. No, I've never been there. Can't say that, no. But anyway, don't do that, at least right now. In the meantime, get outside, man, exercise. Next thing I'm gonna suggest is journaling. It's kind of weird, but just write three things that you want to accomplish for the day, like a little to-do list, write down a motivational quote that sticks with you, and three things you're grateful for, because when you're playing so much Call of Duty, you just kind of get lost, like, you just lose touch with the reality, let's be real. Now, the third thing I'm gonna suggest for your health is gonna be meditation, man. There's a lot of ways that this can help you in just your everyday, day-to-day -day life, but Call of Duty, there's a lot more benefits than you'd really think. Uh, and in a lot of situations, you could be pre-aiming something, for instance, and you just, you kind of get a twitch to want to go and like run over to help your teammates or something. But if you just kind of stood there and like just realized like what is going on in the situation, you probably would have made an even better play. Uh, that's just all hypothetical, but y you know where I'm coming from. Now next is your networking and your branding. A lot of people don't really focus on this and a lot of people post their depressing life shit on Twitter like dude, we get on Twitter to get away from that stuff. We don't need to see everyone else's problems. So please man, like if you're going through something, just don't put it on the timeline. Just ask for someone to talk to. There's always gonna be someone to talk to. Just please don't put on the timeline, man. You're ruining everyone else's vibes and it's only gonna make it harder for you to find people to play with because people don't wanna play with that. And I could go on and on for this for hours. I can make a whole separate video if you guys want, but there really is an art to networking. What I would really suggest right now though is just play your money tens, play your tournaments and everyone you play with or against, just shoot them a follow if they deserve it, man interact with their tweets but don't be super corny about it like i said there's a tactic to this i could really go on but if you do it right you should never have to ask for anyone to play with you'll be having to choose between people now lastly is going to be your knowledge of previous games now this might be kind of weird because modern warfare and cold war are going to have the exact same engine so we're not quite sure how it's gonna work out. Um, this year is a lot different for this kind of phase because you wanna kinda of stay sharp with this engine and the movement or whatever, but you also wanna kind of think about Treyarch games and how Treyarch games are played and then just, there, there's so many things that go into it. Um, if you guys really wanna get your knowledge, I would suggest playing throwback tournaments. They're everywhere right now. There's some good money in them. I know my boy Cheetah Wong is throwing up a bunch of tournaments right now. So I'm going to throw his link down in the description. You guys need to check it out. But uh, he has new ones just about every week. Now, like, if you're trying to stay sharp on the game and still learn from previous games and you don't want to go out and spend the bread on the games, what I would suggest doing is just shoot your bots, play your pubs, whatever you want that's kind of mindless in Modern Warfare and then throw on some old streams of old games. I'll throw some links that I would suggest watching. Just watch old tournament gameplays. You know, there's MLG, UMG, all those. C, uh, it was CWL for a while. So like, just find whatever you can, watch it. Uh, preferably Treyarch, but if you can find it, just watch it. There's a lot of diversity in gameplay as opposed to this year. This year it was kind of an off year, so. Just get ready for next year. Now, like I said, all that shit should have been common sense, but if you took anything from this video, I really hope it's that it's the meditation because it really helps me out a lot. And look, I even got a fucking candle that says meditate, boy. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, it really helps a lot in game. Kind of hard to explain, but 
If you guys don't know the powers of meditation, look into it. Hopefully you guys have a great day. Stay safe. I'm out. Peace.